Okay, this is a demonstration to show you how the template installer works for e-ink pads. This is a third party app. Get 10% off with my discount code. Um, I, um, for a Mac, the other app that is free is called Slithin, S-L-I-T-H-I-N. Anyway, anyway, this is how you use e-ink pads template installer. You make sure your device is turned on and make sure it is not in suspension mode. It is here where it should be and click go connect. Now I do find the first couple of times, sometimes you have to restart it. This is why I have the force quit box open. Just full disclosure, I'm just showing you how it works, okay, so that you can decide whether this will work for you or not. Um, and there you can see the template installer over here and sometimes it says not responding and then I quit it. I don't report and I open it again. That's just the process it seems to go. So PNG files um, are what Remarkable uses in the notebook area. Uh, before that, I'm just gonna show you, I wanted to, <laughs> well, the cars, the cars one, um, for the notebook covers, I've created the cars with a box for you to write, okay? If it's a PNG file, if you upload it this way, you can actually put it into any document, including quick sheets, including a native notebook. Um, you cannot add it to a third party PDF on the Remarkable. You can add it on here, on your laptop. Okay, so, but today I just want to show you in this video, we're going to upload this and then we're going to add it into our quick sheets. We'll, we'll add it into the quick sheets um, document that I've got. All right, so that's because, see here, PNG, I'm uploading it as a PNG. Now, the other thing I've discovered in doing this is it doesn't really like numbers. I don't know if that's just my machine. So I'm going to call this fancy because you just pick a name and you call it whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to drag it across here, over to here. This is what you see when you open this app, this is the screen that you use. It's, this is all, all there is to it. These are all, I think there's 84, I could be wrong, 74, 76. I think there's 84 templates all in here. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I am gonna put a P in front of it because I like that uh, naming convention uh, they've used an uppercase. They've used P for portrait and L for landscape. You can see that there. Um, I would never suggest you using blank. Blank is their document and you'll overwrite it. I use blank all the time, so I love blank. Um, and then you can see here how they've got, um, they've just used a naming convention to name everything. So I'm gonna call it fancy and then I can find it again um, what EP does, they create a category of their own, which I'll show you in a second, and that's where you will find them all on your device. But let's just do one step at a time. First of all, we've named this P Fancy. Let me just move that out of the way. I'm going to drag it across. And it's going to give me this second screen. They're the only two screens that they have. Success, the following information determines how your template displays on your tablet. Is it portrait or landscape? So you have to tell them it's portrait. What is the name? I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it fancy with a capital F. They, oh, this is new. Here we go, EP. Let me see if they'll let me put it in custom. Oh yes, that's awesome. I would like to create my own category, but hey, <laughs> It's not going to let me do that. And the icon, these, is, these are the little pictures. My suggestion to you is pick one for your ones, your PNGs, and stick with it. It is easier to recognise. Obviously, you can do whatever you like, but because I'm never going to use this one, I'm going to go with UE9D5, and the next time it will just automatically populate with this one, so you can just keep using it, which is really cool. So now, what, where you'll find it is it's, it, it, it's either right down the bottom or it's in alphabetical. Let's look. And it's not there. Maybe it's right at the top. And it's not there either. So this is interesting. <laughs> where is it? Am I missing it somewhere? Four storyboards. See, at this point, I'm a firm believer in restarting everything. So what I would actually do 
at this point is I would actually quit it. You can see it goes away over here. I would start it again. I would reconnect and see if it's in there. If it's not, I'll, I'll drag it over and install it again. But this is uh, sometimes you just have to be persistent. Obviously the L's are first, but L comes before P. Let's look under F for fancy, it's not there. Well, that's unusual. I've, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, which means, it. let's see if it's here before I restart it. I don't think it will be. If we go to the, no, we add a notebook and we go to view all. Yeah, you can see how there's no category EP up here and that's because it hasn't restarted with the new information yet. So what we do, cancel, cancel, menu, settings, restart, restart. All right, let's just do this. This is, these are the sleep screens I just made. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. Um, need some Formula One cars. <laughs> uh, you will see a customized sleep screen in a second once it does its thinking. <clears throat> there it is, the little beauty. And now, when we go to up, when we go notebook and we go view all. Mm, oh, oh I, I should have looked in custom, not in EP. There it is. See custom? That's the that's the category I selected, and it's called P Fancy. See that? Now, when I click on that, I'm saying, can I make a notebook out of this template? And I'll go with that name and last page, page visited, create, and look at that. Now, this is, that, that's really this tutorial. But let me show you now. When I add a page, right, it always adds, when it's a PNG file, it always just adds the template page of the document that you've made. The easy way to change this, so this is just a bit of a bonus tip, is you come into layers and you have a look here. This is the template it's using. All you do is you tap on that layer and you say, oh, no, I actually want a blank page. Now, if we go back and, and look at the grid view, you can see it's changed it. That's the beauty of uploading these as PNG files is that you can add them then to any native notebook. I call them a native notebook because they're the notebooks that cancel, let me go. They're the notebooks that are native to the Remarkable. They're not a PNG like my sassy notebook lined. If I tick on, click on this, I've created, this is a third party document, a PDF that I created. It's got hyperlinks and all the things in it. Uh, if I showed you the grid view, you would see. Now, with this, this PDF, I can alter these pages, but I have to do it on my laptop. I can't do it on the Remarkable because the Remarkable sees it as one complete unit. But if I want to start fiddling around with pages inside of these notebooks, sorry, let me just shut that. I have to do it inside of a notebook I've created in the Remarkable. I'm calling it a native notebook. So that's it. Um, now this, is showing a blank page because the option I had selected down the bottom here is view the last page visited. Now, if we view the, if we, if we put the cover as the first page and we save it and we hop out, there it is. Isn't that a beauty? <laughs> Love it. All right, end of tutorial. Um, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment. I love it encouragement or if you want to see something else ask questions or if you want to give me some feedback be kind but please feel free thank you so much for watching <laughs> see ya